We've yeah. stopped the filming now. The film was a couple of months ago. So today we're at Sound Tree Studios um, and we're here to do what's called ADR, which means that when lines go wrong for some reason because the sound didn't pick them up or there's noise in the background or you do it wrong, uh, they get you back <laughs> and you dub yourself. No, not this one. No, no, not this one. Not, no, 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 not this one. I have done a fair amount of ADR before actually, I really like it. Um, at the West Witch we used to do, I think, two or three days every six weeks, so we do a block of episodes and then we go into the studio for two days, three days, and copy our lines back. Uh, and I love it because it means you get to see some of the footage earlier than you would otherwise. I'm going to give you beeps. That's one. one, two, three, and on the fourth one is your cue. Okay. Hang on. You're, you're breaking up. I think you should be raising your voice at this point. You're breaking up. Seeing everyone again and being in the same environment brings it all back and it makes you feel like you're still part of the project, which is great. When you're an actor, you finish the shoot and then you go away and you hear updates on the post-production and everything, but you don't always feel involved, so it's really, really nice to get to see the director again, get to see the other actors, and we, we all became quite good friends during the shoot. Because I did it so well the first time, we didn't need to do too much of my ADR. Any at all? Virtually nothing, it was just the go play, have fun, and yeah. excuse me, how much of that? This will be the last one, I promise. Go, play, have fun. The trickiest thing when it comes to ADR, I think, is matching the emotions that you had at the time because you're you're locked in this. <laughs> I think one of the trickiest things about ADR is recording the ADR interview because there's too many other sounds going on around. I put in one cassette, then I put in the next. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. So what will happen next is basically the studio won't sound anything like the locations we were on. So underneath the shop, for example, was really echoey, but the studio obviously isn't. So they do something that they call mixing. I don't know what that is, uh, but they, they play with the sound <laughs> and they make it sound. They'll, they'll make the lines that we've recorded today sound like they belong in that kind of environment. I'm not sure we want that in the film. <laughs> it's not a certificate 18. We're just recalling some breather here, and immediately we get sexual connotations. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, my cassette recorder! <laughs> oh, it's ejected. <laughs>